Sennheim does, besides recording up to 192K, the microphones go out to 35K frequency response. So they're exceptional microphones. They're arguably better than most people's pro microphones, okay. but they're obviously attached. Right. So you gotta almost think of this as a digital recording stereo microphone. Um, to that degree, beyond being able to do wave files all the way up to 192K, and even simultaneous MP3 files. So right after recording, you can, you know, MP3 out and, and send somebody oh, something. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, it also can record in direct stream digital, in DSD. Are you familiar with what DSD yes. is? Yes. yes. It, you remember the Super Audio CD from a few years ago? Yep. That was the DSD format. And PCM is taking a, a second and slicing it up into 96,000 slices, 96 k okay. for example. And at each one of those 96,000s of a slice, it will take 24 ones and zeros to describe the waveform at that slice of time. By DSD standards, a sampling rate of 96K, which you think, well, that's pretty fast, or 192K is pretty fast, it's like a snail on the ground. A DSD is instead of throwing 24 ones and zeros to describe each slice of time, it only uses one bit to say the waveform either went up or it went down because the clock rate is so fast. The clock rate is 2.882 megahertz. It is so fast that if you listen to the digital bit stream, it almost sounds like music. But it says the waveform relative to my last slice went up or it went down. You give it a plus or a minus or a one or a zero. So as a result, it is the most analog sounding of all the digital formats. Can do a frequency response out to 50K and it sounds just lovely. Wow. So this unit can also record in DSD. The mics go to 35K. The recording format goes to 50K. The headphone amp goes to 50K. Our headphones here go from 5 hertz to 80K. And I'm going to play you now a recording I made with this unit, this unit, um, at, at my daughter's Manhattan Girls Chorus concert. Playing. Here we go. So this was the location. I had this unit up here on a mic stand, or a light stand, five feet behind the conductor. What you're listening to is only this. However, I'm going to let you listen to the native DSD file. I had a down resin to DCM so I can edit it with my video. But. Yeah, that's. That's as native as you get. And it's warm digital. It's it. So. So. That's what we offer. That's straight this is, out to the phone. That's amazing. Straight out. Every, there's nothing in the way. You know, when, when Neil Young developed the Pono player, the high-res uh -huh. player, people would plug in their iPhone earbuds and said, it doesn't sound any different to me because they were the limiting factor. Here, in this little situation, nothing is limiting. So in order for high-res to work, everything in the chain from the microphone all the way through to the playback device must be high-res capable. You cannot... Right, restricted anywhere along the line. And that's what we're listening to here. So, this is, you know, arguably, we think the highest quality of this whole sea of portable recorders that are out there. And you hopefully see why it, um, you know, the mics are aimable, wow. all that stuff. So you said you don't sample to put it on the video yeah. because the, the file is... Well, because there's not really native DSD editing, certainly okay. in my okay. NLE. Right, right, right. That's the whole point. Right, okay, I got you. But... has something called a dual path limiter. This works when you're in PCM modes or MP3 modes, not in DSD. What that means is that recorders usually have a limiting function to protect you from overloads. Right. This guy has a dual concentric pot channel, left channel, right. Okay. And if you set it too high, if you just called up a DSP limiter, there are audible artifacts that can happen. And we never want it to suffer those, our engineers did not want to suffer 
those artifacts. So how do you do artifact-free limiting? And this is what they came up with. It's called a dual path limiter. So let's consider a single microphone right now. If we take that microphone and we split its output into two paths, one path goes through a mic pre that you set the level, through an A to D converter, and into a 32 gig bit bucket. That's your main path. The second leg now goes into, this is a four gang pot, it goes into a second analog mic pre that is automatically set 12 dB lower than your main one where you set it into its own A to D converter and into a constantly flushing 15 second buffer. So that if you turn the function on and it detects an overload in the digital in your main path, it does a digital crossfade and a digital level match with the 12 dB down version that was safe That's and then back out again. That's amazing. It's really cool. Artifact freeway limiting. Wow. Our engineers are really, really, really bright. I love Sony. Really, really bright. Now, our story doesn't end there. This is our brand new little unit. This is called an ICD SX2000. It has microphones that go out to 40K. They're also aimable. It's small. It offloads files off of that and a little USB dongle and also charges the internal batteries. Um, it can record up to 96K quality, playback 192K FLAC files and files, but it doesn't do DSD. But what it does do is it can be paired. So here you can take the recorder and up to 50, 60 feet away or something, place it close to the sound source, but you don't have to be worried. Did I set the record volume too low, too high? Here you can watch it. You can hit record level from wherever you are. And you yeah. can adjust the record levels, bring it up, bring it down. Tap, tap the waveform. Go ahead, tap the waveform. Wow. Okay, wow. okay, you can also drop in track markers. Something happened, there was a mistake, somebody said something important, and that'll show up in your NLD timeline. Wow.